Richmond police officer Daniel Ellis died Friday, two days after being shot while investigating an attempted robbery. Plans are being finalized for his funeral on Wednesday. But today, the four people arrested in connection to his death appeared in court. Victor Puente has the latest on the investigation into the officer's death. The four people facing charges in this case were arraigned Monday morning. The judge entered not guilty pleas for each of them. She also set the bond of Rally Sizemore, who police say pulled the trigger at $2.5 million. The courtroom was filled with Officer Daniel Ellis's colleagues and friends. Many of the officers in that courtroom this morning will be here tomorrow as the city of Richmond begins to say goodbye to Officer Ellis. Because of the expected attendance, Ellis's funeral will be held at Alumni Coliseum on Eastern Kentucky University's campus. But we are doing everything we can here from Eastern Kentucky University to support the family and to honor Officer Ellis along with the rest of the community to give him the tribute that he deserves. Both Ellis and his wife are graduates of EKU. The school is canceling classes starting Tuesday night until Wednesday afternoon. Ellis's visitation will be tomorrow from 2 to 8. His funeral is Wednesday morning at 11. The roads around Eastern will be closed as his funeral procession makes its way along the bypass, up Big Hill Road, through the city, and onto I-75. They expect that route to be packed with people showing their support. It's to give anyone here in Richmond an opportunity to pay their respects. They're certainly encouraged to line the roadway along Main Street and any of the other areas it will pass through. The procession will make its way south to Dunville, Kentucky, where Ellis will be laid to rest with full honors. Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news.